Uh, Natasha, uh, can you confirm if you are able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. So, yeah, here uh, we'll be taking a demo of uh, Super Sender. So, to access our application, it should be we have to visit supersender.pro is a domain. So once you uh, open this page, you'll get a login screen directly. You can either, uh, you know, you can sign up if you don't have an account. If you have an account, you can log in. So sign up a simple process where provide the name, uh, username, email address. You would be able to log into the, I mean, sign up to the new account. Once you sign up, you'll get an email to activate the account. Uh, so here, this is what, it looks like after logging in. This would be your screen where you'll be able to see the status of your current, uh, uh, you know, how many messages been sent, etc. You can see um, our uh, team has, uh, you know, used the application to send out a uh, lot of communication recently. You can see 6,600 uh, messages been pushed. Once you log in, you have an option to look at, uh, select the WhatsApp option here. Select WhatsApp. This is what the options you, you'll be able to see for your account. Okay. Once you subscribe to the plan, uh, whereas profile here, you can add your own number here, select this uh, profile. And, uh, you know, if it is a uh, already existing account, so you can see here. Now, my colleague Natasha has already configured her account. So, you know, if we select that one, you'll be able to see what's her mobile number. And, the, you know, these are the other credentials I'll explain in little time. If you want to add a new account, you have to come here, click on add account. You will get an option like this. Uh, Natasha, uh, can you log into this as well once? I'm just selecting this. Natasha, please log into this application. Uh, Sahil, uh, can you inform her if she's with you? Yes, sir. Kaze, sir, log in. Okay, okay. So, uh, supercenter.pro is the page. If you select, it will ask you to sign in, like uh, your username and the password. Once you log in, you will get this screen. Add account, new account can be added. Like uh, depending on the plan, we will increase the limit basically. Uh, you know, you can add two accounts, three accounts. How it will be helpful, uh, we'll just, uh, you know, explain. So once I select WhatsApp, bulk messaging is the one option. You can see these are the recent uh, uh, campaigns being pushed by our uh, team uh, for Teacher's Day messages being pushed. You can see there are 700 messages been sent, right? So before doing this, what we have to do is we have to upload our contact list. Maybe you have your students, uh, parents uh, list, contacts list, right? That can be first uploaded here. For that to upload your contacts, you have to come to this last option called contacts and start adding here. For our example, I prepared a small Excel file. with a few student data for uh, demo purpose. Whereas I mentioned the phone number, name, I'll skip the semester part, standard, like this. Maybe they, they might have taken, uh, got the, these course in recent uh, unit tests or uh, some examinations. I'm selecting it here and I'll save this file. Once I save this file, I'll have to just come back to our page, add the, um, add it here. So I'll say super center demo, submit. This is basically creating the group. I'm creating a, uh, you know, that contact group. So for your example, it would be of its standard or 
say parents for particular uh, you know uh, session or something so now after adding this i have to just click on this third option here i can import here you get two options either you upload it directly like say if you want if you have only phone numbers you can directly add it here the number format should be 10 digit mobile number starting with a 91 without plus so it should be if it is a 10 digit 91 and your mobile number you should enter it but here what i did is i have a sample file uh, basically you can download it from here you can click on this and it will download a file so since i for the demo purpose we already have this demo file with us so i'm uploading this Sahil, you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Right, once I upload it here, it will come like this. Then I'll go back. So I have four numbers for now. So four contacts have been uploaded. Now, if you upload as many contacts, you can upload. But what is the best practices? You know, I'll uh, explain it uh, after the you know the demo part. Now I'll go to the bulk messaging. Once we have the contact study with us, I can go here, click on the add new campaign here by click, clicking on the plus symbol. Uh, Natasha, can you log in? This is, I think, uh, it got logged out. Yeah, so it will show here. Once you logged in, it will show here. Select that account. Now, if you have two accounts, what is what will be the benefit is you can actually simultaneously send from multiple numbers. Like say if you have so many contacts, maybe you want to push 2,000, 2,000 contacts at the same day, that time you can actually use multiple numbers. So it will it has an op option for auto rotation. The first message will go from the first number, second message will go from the second number like that. Now, demo for... Right, then contact group, we added super sender demo. I am selecting the group of contacts. Then here you can see, uh, you have an option to upload, uh, attach an image, or I can write a message here. So normally we can say hi, but here you have an option for spin tax. What this does is, hi, Hello. Now this spin tax, what it does is for one message, it will send a hi for another message. It will send hello, right? Then we have in Excel file, our name parameter, right? Uh, so I'm selecting percentage name. It will automatically pick the, pick it from the CSV file, what we uploaded. In recent unit test, you got the score of percentage, score percentage. It automatically picks from there. Um, for which standard? Maybe percentage. points i mean your particular school name or uh, you know the administrative uh, administrative department something you'll mention it there and send it 
So these parameters, what I mentioned in the percentage in between percentage, it gets picked up from the your Excel file. So it can be anything up to say 50 parameters. Also, you can mention it there. Maybe standard or parents name. Uh, maybe you you sending it to parents, but you want to you know uh, about their students uh, about their kids, right? So all this information can be picked re uh, dynamically from the Excel file what you upload. You can save this for the future reference as well. So there's an option called save caption. So again and again, you need not uh, keep drafting the same messages again and again. Today, once you prepare it, you can save it as a caption. So next time when you want to send it, it will be helpful for you. That is this option. Now it is 419 now. So I will say select current time. Then this is the, you know, in between you have to just give a a uh, little uh, delay between each messages, maybe one second, two seconds like this, um, you know, to make sure the messages goes, you know, uh, properly to all the uh, receivers, recipients, basically. Now I can click on schedule. You can see here. So each message is getting personalized. Hello, Prakash. Uh, then it going, hello, Natasha. Hello, Ritu. Then hello, Ashutosh. You can see here, right? Real time, it is getting dynamically. It's updating the information and getting pushed to the users. Now, this is, uh, you know, we are sending for the our existing numbers. What if, if you want to collect it from a, say uh, you collecting for certain uh, application process, you ask the users to send their numbers in a Google form, right? Now, can we send a message to them? Yes, that, that also will take you through. Now there's an option called auto responder. This also you can enable it. For example, if uh, you have a particular number for your school, uh, whereas, you know, if you want but standard response to be going to the, all the people who is messaging to you. You can actually configure that in auto responder. Here. Hi. Thanks for your message. Our team will get back to you. Something like this. If he's enable this, uh, make sure you're enabling it for the individuals and give a delay. Like say, you know, the moment if people are sending a message immediately or responding, that doesn't, it looks, uh, it is automated, right? So maybe you can give a delay for a minute, you know, maybe one minute, then you start responding with this message. Similarly, chatbot also, but that we will cover it in the advanced sessions. Um, but for now, thanks for your message. This is auto responder submit. So what happens is if anyone is sending a message to you now, it will automatically trigger a message from your number. Maybe let me see if I can show it from other uh, WhatsApp. So this, I have uh, my personal WhatsApp here. So I'm here, I'm sending. Hi. You can see immediately the system process the message. Hi, thanks for your message. Our team will get back to you. Thanks, Natasha. Then comes to the, uh, we will actually show you in this uh, automated process for the Google form. See, now I have this form. Let me see. I'm sending this uh, form to you uh, in the chart window. If you don't mind, if you can help me uh, entering, it, it has just a name and number, right? So if you could uh, help me out filling the form, it will show you like how it is uh, messages are getting, you know, responded to you. 
I would request everyone, uh, including Sahil and Natasha, please fill the form. Great. Uh, I see Mr. Rao has submitted the information. Let me see. Okay. Um, one second. Let me... Natasha, you're saying you didn't get any message? Yes, sir. Okay, let me quickly check that. Please allow me a second. Okay, uh, please wait. I'm just updating the credentials. Because you re logged in, I think this got updated. I'm really sorry, guys. Uh, just tell me a second. Yeah, Natasha, can you submit it again? Yes, I think Mr. Ved Prakash is already submitted. You could see that uh, Prakash ji, you have a message. Matlab, the moment you fill the form, you could have got a message. Hello, uh, Ved Prakash. Welcome to Minerva Info. Right. So how it is happened from the same application uh, for Super Sender, we can actually integrate. It is not just you know sending a messages you know that can uh, be automated, scheduled. These are the basic things. Now imagine if you're having a form, uh, you know, Google form you're collecting or asking the students to submit data or, you know, maybe conducting online uh, certain, uh, you know, assignments you're giving them or asking the parents for a feedback. Now, as a parent, when they share the feedback, you want to respond immediately, right? So you can actually use this application and simply, I know, uh, of course, this is a little, uh, hardly like five minutes, but yeah, technically we will help you out. Uh, but by simply enabling a small, you know, option here into the Google form. What I'm doing is you could see here, I am just asking name and the contact number and email ID. The moment they submit the information that comes to the Google form, right? Now from here, I'm actually collecting it to the Google Sheets. This is where I actually configured this automation. I have the, I'm collecting the name and the number of course. Then I have kept a defined message here. Right. With the, like say, hello and with their name parameter, that means the customer or the parents or the students, if they enter their name here, that gets picked up here automatically into the message. Right. Then our application, like say in this script, I'll show you now.
here you can see event type on the form submission what should happen this is where we given a command when the user submits it send a message to their number with this particular format what you predefined and kept it here that's all so message gets pushed to the users you might have seen right lot of other uh, uh, programs or you know companies they are offering this but uh, yeah so this is how it is being done coming to the best practices part if it is a new number uh, you know we get a uh, few concerns from few schools saying that you know their mobile numbers getting blocked for when they are using a certain applications so like uh, whatsapp they sending messages the thing is we have to be following the best practices in place like uh, you know you should not send a new number if you having do not send the messages on the day one to 100 200 people one shot first you should warm up that number like say you know maybe start with the five messages a day then slowly after two days make it 20 messages slowly 30 messages then within a week or you know two weeks down the line you will be able to reach 100 messages per day if required you make that you know in a like say you know multiple numbers you use it as i shown our application can support put multiple numbers here right you can add an account and keep that one so automatically each message for example today if i am sending it to 1000 people so uh, my number is already warmed up you know for the office what we using those numbers are already using for whatsapp so what we do is you know we will use simultaneously two different numbers to push out the messages so the chances of getting blocked is lesser and also what we do is as i shown in the bulk messaging feature we use that spin tags that means do not send for everyone standard same message don't uh, uh, you know bulk send make it little dynamic even though if you don't have their names okay even if you don't have their particular data it's okay but even if you have thousand numbers you can make it dynamic like say one person you can say hi to second person hello third person namaste you know with that kind of a approach the end of the day these uh, uh, blocking happens from the machines right the machines see, keep seeing you know what kind of messages getting pushed to the uh, you know customers right so the moment it sees it is the same message going to the all 1000 or 2000 people they might suspect the systems might suspect saying that it is a some kind of spam that is the reason they block us so instead of doing that what we do is we just make it little interactive even in the signature right uh, you know if i am sending from a minerva info what i can do is i'll go to bulk messaging again new campaign yeah i'll show you the message uh, format here hi hello namaste right so if i'm sending it to 10 people all these 10 messages i mean uh, uh, you know each message three messages goes with the first message hi second message says hello third message says namaste right again after that i can say this is again i'll open the curly brackets i'll say natasha i'll mention my colleagues names sahil again five symbol <clears throat> rishi like this so what happens is along with this uh, you know dynamic this also gets changed for one uh, you know uh, uh, school it goes this is natasha for second school it goes this is sahil third school it goes this is rishi right this is how we actually make it more you know dynamic and unique so that you know the uh, message looks very genuine and they will not block us these are the you know few things we have to follow initially and of course as a, you know if you continue to do this uh, then there is no chance your numbers will not you know uh, get blocked i think uh, you know this is the what it is if you have any questions please uh, let me know i can answer maybe in advance session we will try to cover uh, auto responder and chatbot in more little you know in depth and we'll help you if it is for a google form integration we'll help you how to do that if uh, any questions uh, please do let us know
uh, Komal ji, if you uh, if you don't mind, uh, no. can you sh share your feedback? I mean, you're able to understand, or is it confusing? Yeah, yeah, so I understand. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Prakash ji. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, so, aapko, matlab, is it clear or uh, is it? Sir, I was late joined, kya, but I'm okay. No issue. Okay, sir. Okay. So, uh, nothing, sir. We just covered two, three things here. Uh, adding the contacts. So, what about if we want to send the message class-wise? You can, you can. That's what. You aap jo contacts up. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. So, uh, the contacts, what you want to upload, you can upload it in that particular format. Now, if you have a student data for all the standards, you know, uh, one file you have or multiple files you have. No, sir. I uh, want to ask, suppose I have, I have to send a particular data to standard eight only. Haan, to aap, wahi, aap, you know, standard eight, ke liye aap, you know, aapka jo data hai, Excel mein aap upload kar dijiye. Every time I need to upload, sir. No, no, no. One time. See, in the contacts, see, now these are the different contacts or, you know, my colleagues have been added here. Right, sir. Uh -huh. So this is already there. Now for you, for to show you, I added a new contact list here. But if you already have eighth standard, you can simply come here, add new, and say eighth standard, and submit. Once you add the numbers into this particular group, it will be there. Okay, okay. Even for that matter, you know, the messaging, like say now if I'm sending a new message, right, I can actually drop the message and I can keep it in the captions. Like, so let me see if I have some caption here. Uh, see, uh, we are sending the super sender demo ke liye a message draft karke rakhe the. So if I select that, see that message is already there. You can see I'm saying yes. dear schools and greetings good evening you know for the second message so for every message it, this keeps changing for one person it goes greetings for second message it goes good evening so this message already drafted and kept maybe here uh your link hai, meeting link hai, jo demo ka, uh, you know meeting link hai, wo change hoga, maybe but the message remains same so this also up you know save karke rakh sakte ho. yes sir. yeah okay sir. And also, you know, we would suggest give a, if it is a new number, if you recently use a new WhatsApp number, say, use kar rahe, so I would suggest, aap, you know, use this delay between each message. Maybe to start with uh, five uh, seconds for each message you can select, four to eight seconds kind of a thing. Once you start doing that, in later stage, you can reduce this. So, you know, we will cover that, you know, maybe uh, in advanced, uh, even the chart bot we want to cover. So chart bot, you know, you can configure it however you want. For example, if a parent says, uh, uh, you know, admission related, they want information. Uh, the moment they type admission, it will automatically say, you know, what is that, uh, you know, data you have already predefined it, it goes to them. So uh, that's about the demo. If you, uh, I mean, if any questions, please write to us at contact at minervainfo.com. We are, uh, you know, we will respond. Maybe even if you want to get in a one-to-one -one call also, we are available. Mm -hmm. Okay, then if no questions, so let us wrap up the session. Thank you so much. Uh, thank Natasha. you so much, sir. Th thanks, Komalji. Thank you so much. Uh, Natasha, shall we wrap up the session? Sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you.